Okay. There's no eggs in here. We have a dead chicken. I just got back from town from uploading the last video, which took like six hours. And came home to Connor telling me there's a chicken in here that was dead. The door was shut and it was latched. Hey Connor, was this chicken dead when you came out here this morning? Yeah. Alright, so my guess is somehow a snake strangled it, do you think? Because there's no eggs. Did you collect the eggs? Yeah. Uh, the bottom left box? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought maybe the... I don't know. Well, from the looks of her, I guess it could have just been old age. There's no cuts, there's no attack, there's nothing chewed on on her. Well, I don't know if she got too hot, if she just got old. I guess I'll go put her somewhere. Well, not only did we lose a hen, we lost a guinea. She was laying over here on an egg. And she wasn't attacked either, so I'm thinking the heat did it. That's my guess. Well, we finally got some much needed rain. So, the grass is getting green again and growing. Well, pork chop, looks like the rain, rain did you good here. Your mud hole is awful. Yeah, it'll stay nice and cool. That we have one problem is your water pans in the middle. Let me get that out. <laughs> Got us another muddy swamp here. Hey, Buttercup! You enjoying your mud hole too? Looks like two of the pigs are in their little house there. For those who don't know, pigs don't have sweat glands. Well, they don't have, they have very few. So, the heat is worse for them than the cold, so they have to stay cool. They have to have some way to stay cool in the summer when it's hot. Which is why it's important to have these uh, mud holes, which he's thoroughly enjoying. We were smelling something dead over here, and Brian thinks it's the chick that went missing. We think maybe... The snake, there were, they said it was big. I didn't ever see it. But they said, they would think maybe that the snake had tried to eat the chick. And it was too big. And it, I don't know. I don't smell it anymore. But. Okay, our next Alaska purchase. Any guesses, anybody? It's coming out. It's a Berkey filter. And the video when we talk about our Alaska plans. I said so we're going to get a Berkey filter. We got the big Berkey. Except we can figure out how to put it together now. We, this is a plastic spout and we got the stainless steel spout. I'm not sure what this is. I'll we'll have to read about it. But Alright, here's the filters that go in it. It takes two filters, but it can take up to four. You can add these fluoride filters to it. I guess each set should last 6,000 gallons. So if you're just using it for drinking water, like brushing your teeth, that sort of thing, it should last a long time. Okay, here's the big Berkey. It's just a little assembled. Got the stainless steel spigot with the handle on top. The filters aren't in yet, but that's what it looks like. Those two and one quarter gallons per hour. So you could pour um, rainwater, river water, lake water in the top. 
and then it goes through the filters and then you have a spigot to get your drinking water out. So, and you can even filter Kool-Aid through here and it'll clean it all out so clean water comes out. The soft hey. Hey. They're trying to hang this swing up. Let me stick it on that limb over there. It's pretty good. Oh, oh, looks like the tarp fell over there. The boys went with Brian to work since it's Labor Day weekend. And uh, it's extra, extra boxes of buns and hot dog buns, hamburger buns. So he takes them sometimes. and keep the camera dry and get all this stuff done. So, I'm doing the chores. It's ripped right there. Uh, gonna need two hands for this. It's probably just gonna fall again when it keeps raining. Good morning, everybody. It's gonna get, it's gonna be wet out there. Hope you don't mind. You don't mind? Oh, it's dark out. Sleep. Go to bed and sleep longer. Okay, I'm gonna have to go in the rain. That's in the chair. Ooh, flying down over my head now. I can't see anything. I need a flashlight. I was sticking my hand in there. If I can't see, I might grab a snake. I don't see anything bright, so I'm going to throw this in the taller grass. I'm trying to encourage the chickens to knock it down. They've done get it here, so we will throw it out there. They can work on that. Right, girls? Kitty's fancy bowls. They break all the other ones, so. Found her. Come on, girl. They're not gonna eat all that. I just took it. Hey, good morning. Yeah, you ready for this rain to stop or are you enjoying the cool weather? I'm enjoying the cool weather myself. We are missing Tom. Tom is not here. I don't know where he is. This is Sunbeam here. We found her. I found her at Brian's work. I heard this meowing noise. And I looked down and there was a box taped up. And I picked it up and heard meow. So I opened it up and the little kitty, she was tiny. She was inside. And then these two and our other one are her kids that we've had her sit since. Found her. We found her down the road. The two other dogs we have showed up here at our place. And the little black kitty was found uh, in the suburban. So we're a magnet for these creatures. She's part lab. I don't know if she's full lab, but she's a good dog. Aren't you, girl? You're a good dog. Yeah. This is where we keep our electric fence box. As you can see, this is all coming apart, so I'm fixing to put a new one up. Uh, yeah. It's old. So, this is where we keep it so it doesn't get wet. So, I need to go drill a, new, a hole in a new one and reattach it. I'm thinking this isn't going to be big enough, so maybe I can make it bigger. Two of them or something. Let's see. Yeah. I'm going to need a lot bigger. 
bigger one. Let's see this do one next to it. I don't know where Brian's tools are to find a bigger one of these, so. What do y'all think? Looks like a flower. Isn't it pretty? Alright, better unplug it, or this could be very painful. Lasted. I think we've had it for about three, three years or so. The head of my Phillips is too big. I need to go get another one. So I've got to undo these wires. get this baby scorpion y'all can see it half an inch long maybe where'd it go yeah about half an inch long maybe I'll find a clip of Nick holding a scorpion and put it at the end of this video it's a big one my luck I'll get stung by that little thing Grounding wire here. Got the fence wire. Now we'll plug it in. And as you can hear, it's clicking, so it's working. It's not lighting up though. Usually there's a, does that mean I need to go walk the fence line? Sounds like it. Live, touch it, make it move so they know it's living. It is living. Did I try this at home? 